Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're just going to try and answer a question. And the question for today is whether dragging parts and objects inside a Roblox game is possible. And the answer to that question is yes, no, and maybe. It's yes if you know how to script it. It's no if you don't know how to script it. And maybe is going to be today's topic. So we're going to discuss the maybe, why it's possible maybe one day we're going to be able to do it. And hopefully that one day is going to be very soon. So recently, Roblox has announced that there is now something called drag detectors, where you can add it to your parts and make your parts draggable inside the games. This feature is still a beta feature, so we're going to have to go and enable that beta feature first. We're going to go to File, Beta Features, look for Drag Detectors, check that box, click Save, click Restart. Once you're all done with that, just get back inside Studio and we get started. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go and add a part to my studio. I'm going to paint it red. And now I'm going to go to that part. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to search for drag detector. Select that. If I play test this game right now, I'm going to be able to drag this part around inside the game. What I want to do now is I'm going to turn off collision here and I'm going to duplicate this part. So I'm going to do a control D to duplicate. All right, so here's my new part. Let me color, uh, give it a different color, blue. And for my new part, I'm gonna anchor it. So I'm gonna go home, click on anchor to anchor the blue part. So the red part is unanchored and the blue part is anchored. Let's now play test and take a look. So remember, the red part is unanchored. So I can just throw it away, like just throw it wherever I want to throw it. Now the blue part is anchored. So when I move it, it's going to stay where, wherever I let it go. It's going to stay put. It's not going to go anywhere as opposed to the red part. I can just throw it and it flies away. Now notice the blue part is the anchor part. It only goes on top of the base plate. Like, I cannot move it up and down. Let's go back to Studio and we're going to see how we can make the part move up and down. To make my blue part move up and down, I'm going to go and click on the blue part. And first, before I do that, let me just resize it. So I'm going to click on Scale. I'm going to make it a little wider because we're going to make this into a game. So here's my blue part. To make it move up and down, I'm going to click on the drag detector underneath the blue part. And I'm going to look for a property called drag style. The default is translate plane and that moves along the plane. So I'm going to change it to translate line. And this is going to make it move up and down along a line. And now let's turn this into a game. So I'm going to click on the blue part. I'm going to do a control D to duplicate. And let's move it out over here. And I'm going to do a control D one more time to duplicate. And we're going to move it over here. For this last part here, we do not need a drag detector in it. So I'm just going to remove it. And let's paint it yellow. And I'm going to make it really high. So I'm just going to make it into a tower. Now let's go and play the game. So again here, I have the red part, I can just throw it away and it's gone. So the point of this game is to get to the top of the tower. Whoever gets to the top first is going to win, but the tower is too high. We cannot get up there, right? So what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to get up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up, right? And I'm going to jump on top of it. Then I'm going to move this one up. I'll jump over there, I'll move this one up until I'm able to jump on top of the tower and I win the game. Alright guys, so that's a preview of how the drag detectors 
is going to work inside Roblox in the future. But again, right now, if you publish this game to Roblox and you try to play in Roblox, it's not going to work. That option is not yet available. But hopefully, very soon, it's going to be available and it's going to make it an incredible feature that you can use inside your game. Because now, players can drag parts and throw parts around and do all kinds of fun stuff inside your games. Everyone, thank you all for watching and we will see you again soon in our next tutorial. Take care everyone.